As many of my regular viewers know, I pick up WWVH, the time signal from Hawaii, very often. It's a 2.5 kilowatt transmitter only in Hawaii. I live in Johannesburg, South Africa. It is on the other side of the earth. So how is it possible that I can pick up that signal so clearly? It is a question that I have asked myself often. So I did some research and came upon a very interesting declassified secret report from the National Security Agency in the United States that explains the phenomenon of antipodal propagation. The report was written by Nathaniel Gerson, I think sometime in the late 1950s or early 1960s. It was only declassified in 2008. I have no idea why this was classified information. Some other academics were also doing research about this phenomenon. But this report explains in quite some technical detail what antipodal propagation is and how it works. And that is the reason why I pick up a signal from the other side of the earth quite clearly and quite easily on even very simple receivers. The same theory holds for anyone anywhere in the world. No matter where you live, you will be able to pick up your antipode, so signals from exactly the other side of the earth from where you are, based on the theory explained by antipodal propagation. It is quite technical and there are many variables, but I will explain it in very simple terms in this video. The easiest way to explain is to start with whispering galleries. There are many places around the world where there are whispering galleries. Areas where you can stand and whisper in one corner or one part of the building and someone right on the other side can hear that whisper. The most famous example is St. Paul's Cathedral in London which is also where the concept of whispering galleries was first discovered in the 1840s, I think. In St. Paul's Cathedral, in the dome area, if you stand at the top, as you can see here in the picture there where that white circle is, and you whisper along the wall, you can hear anywhere along that wall, you can hear that whisper as clearly as if someone was standing next to you. The same thing is true in the whispering gallery of the Grand Central Station in New York which is shown in this picture. The concept at work here is basically just that the sound waves from your voice travels along the contours of the building and there's no way for the sound waves to escape so they reach the other side of those contours, someone standing on the other side as clearly as if you were standing right next to them. Now this is the same principle at play with radio wave propagation, electromagnetic waves. What happens with antipodal propagation, as explained by Gerson in his secret report and shown in this graphic representation, is that the radio waves are sort of trapped between the Earth's surface and the ionosphere, between the antipodes. So the radio wave departs the antipode, which is the T in this image, travels around the Earth, along various paths. This, this image shows paths to the left and the right, but there are various paths. And then reaches the antipode, which is the R in this illustration. All these radio waves reach the antipode at more or less the same time. And then they become concentrated again. They become stronger again. And that is how you can receive the signal at the antipode. So it's a case of radio waves traveling all around the Earth along various paths and then concentrating again at the antipode. And that is what makes it possible for you to capture that signal so far away from the transmitter site. In practice, this means, in my case, that Hawaii, which is my antipode, becomes a very strong signal right here in Johannesburg, South Africa. On this map, you can see Hawaii isn't exactly my antipode, but it's close enough. The effect is felt in a radius of up to about 1,000 kilometers. It's been shown in research. So you can see the Hawaiian islands are there in Botswana, sort of in the Okavango Delta area. That's not too far away from me, six, 700 kilometers more or less. And that means that the signal from Hawaii is concentrated there over the Okavango Delta, close enough to me to pick it up very, very clearly. 
I pick up 5,000 kilohertz, 10,000 kilohertz, 15,000 kilohertz from that little 2.5 kilowatt transmitter in Hawaii very, very regularly. I will show you at the end of this video now on two small radios how easy it actually is. And this is daytime. Many of the larger countries in the world actually don't have very big antipodes on the other side, like big countries or continents. It's mostly islands. But there are some interesting exceptions. South America, for example, and Southeast to East Asia are direct antipodes of one another. So if you were living in Korea, you would be able to pick up local Brazilian signals quite easily. If you were living in Brazil, it would be quite easy for you to pick up signals from Korea, like Voice of Korea is one example. Another interesting example is New Zealand, which is the antipode of Spain. So that means that if you were living in Southern Europe, France, Spain, Portugal, chances are very big that you should be able to pick up Radio New Zealand quite easily because of this phenomenon of antipodal propagation. So what you can do is to find out what your antipode is and then to see if there are radio stations there, possibly not shortwave, but this will also work on stronger medium wave signals. So try to find some medium wave signals at your exact antipode from relatively stronger transmitters, although it should work with weaker transmitters as well, and try. At sunset, during the night, at sunrise, those are good times to try. And perhaps you will be really surprised with what you can pick up. Gerson said in his secret report that antennas actually don't matter at all. And I've noticed that myself in my own practical experience. I use a small radio like the XH Data D219, the Texan R909, any kind of small radio with a small whip antenna, and they work. So I'm going to show you now. I'm going to go outside. I will use the XH Data D109 and the XH Data D219. The time now here is 14.27, my local time. So that's 12.27 UTC, bright daylight, middle of the day. I am almost 100% confident that I will pick up WWVH now because of this antipodal propagation phenomenon. I will now demonstrate how antipodal propagation works in practice. I am outside. It is 14.35 my local time, middle of the day, 12.35 UTC. I am picking up WWVH on 15,000 kilohertz on the XH Data D109 with the whip antenna. Then afterwards, I add a 10 meter, 29 feet wire just for fun. So you can see how much the signal improves. And then on the XH Data D219 with the whip antenna and also with a 10 meter wire. <laughs> there you have it. Clear reception of a 2.5 kilowatt transmitter on the other side of the earth from me. A clear demonstration of antipodal propagation in practice. It is something that anyone can do if you can find out what your antipode is. Try to pick up some signals from that side.